New this morning, a Santa Fe startup is changing the way that we think of death, creating a new alternative to receiving ashes after a loved one dies. News 13's Jamie Seymour visited the company to see how the process works. Good morning, Jamie. David, good morning. When someone is cremated, their loved ones receive ashes, sometimes in an urn, sometimes in a box. The company Parting Stone partnered with Los Alamos National Lab to develop a new technology to offer people something different. When faced with the loss of his grandfather, Justin Crow looked at how others went through the grieving process. After he died, I started to look at how other people around me were dealing with loss. And I found that everyone was keeping cremated remains in their closet, their basement, or their garage. An artist, Crow started thinking of a way to create a new form of human remains that you can easily touch and hold and share among loved ones solidified remains. I came up with the stone concept because I realized that ashes were really gross and messy and uncomfortable and they started to feel kind of meaningless in people's lives. Crow worked with scientists at Los Alamos National Lab here in New Mexico to create the technology needed and start the lab process of transforming ashes into stones. We uh, filter out contaminants like staples, screws and medical implants and then we turn that ash into a clay-like material. The whole process looks a lot like ceramics. The stones are then crafted, fired, and polished before returned to loved ones. The only service of its kind at the moment, it's already becoming an option in funeral homes across the country for those choosing cremation. One customer says it's more meaningful to have his father's remains in his daily life. I travel a lot for work and so it's nice to have small things that I can carry with me. Pro hopes parting stone will serve as a source of healing for those grieving. With solidified remains, cremation and receiving the remains of your loved one really becomes this platform for healing and growth and engagement and community. And David, while most stones come out white or with a blue or green hue, some have been chocolate brown, honey, or even lavender. The company is still trying to figure out why. Back to you. Interesting, nevertheless. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Jamie. Once the lab receives the ashes, the entire process takes about three weeks to complete.